All right, so in this problem, I have 2 to the power of 20 minus 4. So to solve this, I'm going to first start by reading, rewriting 20 here as 10 times 2. So now I have 2 to the power of 10 times 2 minus 4. <clears throat> now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m times n, I can write this as a to the power of m to the power of n. So in this case, 10 we can think of as m and 2 as n. So we can write 2 to the power of 10 times 2 as 2 to the power of 10 to the power of 2. Now I have this minus 4. Now 2 to the power of 10, that's the same thing as 1024. So now I have 1024 to the power of 2 minus 4. And 4 I can rewrite as or sorry, 1,024, I can be right as 1,000 plus 24. So now I have 1,000 plus 24 squared. Now I have this minus 4. Now if I have something in the form a plus b squared, this is equal to a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. So 1,000 plus 24 squared, that's going to equal to 1,000 squared plus 2 times 1,000 times 24 plus 24 squared. Now I have this minus 4. Now 1,000 squared, that's equal to 1 million. 2 times 1,000, that's 2,000. 2,000 times 24, that's going to be 48,000 plus 24 squared, that's equal to 576. And finally, I have minus four at the end. So now I'm gonna go ahead and simplify all of this. So one million plus, or let's first start from the end and work our way up. So 576 minus four, that's 572. So now I have one million plus 48,000 plus 572. Now 48,000 plus 572, that's equal to 48,572. So now I have 1 million plus 48,572. And finally, 1 million plus 48,572, that's just gonna be 1 million 48,572. So this is my answer. All right, in this problem, I have nine to the power of x is equal to 27. So I wanna find the value of x here. So for my solution, first start with nine to the power of x is equal to 27. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite nine here as three to the power of two. So now I have three to the power of two to the power of x. And this is equal to 27. Now, three to the power of one, that's equal to three. Three to the power of two, that's equal to nine. Three to the power of three, this is gonna equal nine times three because as the exponent goes up, um, the result is multiplied by three. That's how powers of three works. So three to the power of three, that's gonna equal nine times three, which is 27. So I can rewrite 27 here as three to the power of three. So now I have three to the power of two to the power of x is equal to three to the power of three. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m to the power of n, this is equal to a to the power of m times n. So three to the power of two to the power of x, that's gonna equal three to the power of two times x, which is simply just three to the power of two x. And this is equal to three to the power of three. So now what I'm gonna do or sorry, now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m is equal to a to the power of n, this means that m is equal to n. 
So in this case, these two exponents equal each other. So 2x is equal to 3. Now to solve this equation, all I have to do is divide both sides by 2. These two cancel out. And I'll have x is equal to 3 over 2. So this is my answer. Now to check, first start with 9 to the power of x is equal to 27. So x is equal to 3 over 2. So now I have 9 to the power of 3 over 2 is equal to 27. Now 9 to the power of 3 over 2, this is the same thing as 9 to the power of 3 squared. Or sorry, the square root of 9 to the power of 3. Now 9 to the power of 3, 9 times 9 is 81. 81 times 9, that's going to be 729. So I have the square root of 729. And the square root of 729 is 27. So I have 27 is equal to 27. And because this is right, my solution is right. All right, so for this problem, I have 6 to the power of x is equal to 12. So to solve this problem, I'm going to first start by taking the log on both sides. So now I have log 6 to the power of x is equal to log 12. Now, if I have something in the form log a to the power of b, I can simply move this exponent b to the front. So this can equal b times log a. So in this case, log 6 to the power of x, I can move x to the front. So that's going to equal x times log 6, which is equal to log 12. Now, to solve this, I'm going to divide both sides by log 6. These two cancel out, and I have x is equal to log 12 over log 6. Now, log 12, that's the same thing as log 6 times 2. Now I have this over log 6. And if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log 6 times 2 I can write as log 6 plus log 2. Now I have this over log 6. Now log 6 plus log 2 over log 6. This is the same thing as log 6 over log 6 plus log 2 over log 6. Now log 6 and log 6, these two cancel out. So now I have x is equal to 1 plus log 2 over log 6 and log 2 or sorry log 6 over here I can write as log 2 times 3 and I'm gonna do the same thing again I'm gonna read this as log 2 over log 2 plus log 3 and again if I expand it I get 1 plus log 2 over log 2 plus log 2 over log 3. Log 2 and log 2, those two cancel out. So I have x is equal to 2 plus log 2, that's equal to 0 0.301 over log 3, that's equal to 0 0.47. So if you simplify this, you get x is equal to 1.3868. So this is my answer.